cave in our attempt to see the Marfa mystery lights. So um, we are, it's going to be 23, 26? 23 is a low tonight. 23. Oh, golly. Yeah. So we are, uh, we are bundled up. We've got our snack pack. we got a tripod. <laughs> and we're going to go uh, try to see some of the Marfa mystery lights. <laughs> Wish us luck. <laughs> I see it. I do see it. That's cray cray. Holy moly. <laughs> Wowzers. That's incredible. That looks like the sun, man. It really does. It's so cold. It is freezing. We did see the Marfa lights. They were amazing. So it's an understatement. Everybody said, well, a lot of people say, oh, it's just headlights. Well, this is the thing is there's no pattern to it. We watched for about an hour. At least. And 20 some degrees. And there's not any <laughs> pattern to these lights. So um, we've seen red, blue, and white lights. Yep. Um, they, they will split. They will uh, be bright and then dim and it's it's just wild. It really is. I mean, it's just, it goes on and on. It's just they're from left to right. It, it, you can't explain it. Nope. It's, it's mind boggling. Yep. We also got to meet uh, Jim Bobo or Bobo or Bobo. <laughs> I think it's Bobo. We're not for sure. Anyways. We, I think it's French. Maybe? I, I don't know. I'm but we sure. follow um, him and his wife, Carmen. We follow their blog. Um, they live in an Airstream full time and they just have, you know, a really cool blog that has tips and things about where they go and um, yeah, they're full timers. Yeah, they, yeah they're you know. set up with solar yeah. as well. So anyway, it was just kind of neat that we're crossing paths. We're coming from Big Bend. They're headed to Big Bend. Yeah. So um, I know that they're going to be in the Murfa area tomorrow also. So hopefully we'll get to maybe meet Carmen tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Yeah, she was inside tonight because it was so freaking cold. It's so cold. cold. <laughs> Don't blame her at all. Yeah, my legs are freezing. So we got to see the Marfa lights on day one. That's Check. Outstanding. Yep. Something off of our bucket list. Couldn't ask for anything better. Yep. So until tomorrow. Peace. What's up, guys? All right. So we ate at the infamous Marfa burrito. And it was fantastic. It was. I'm sure we'll be back. And I'm glad that we started with just the carne burritos because it was just literally meat in a tortilla shell. And it was seasoned to perfection. Oh my gosh. It was, it was so good. It was really so much better than I, I expected it to be good. I didn't expect it to be like amazing. Yeah. And, and they're huge. They're like 12 inches long. Yeah. And it's just packed with beef. Mm -hmm. I think it was five dollars, five fifty. Yeah. Yeah, well worth five fifty. <laughs> so we're glad we started with that. We might fancy it up a little bit next time. Uh, maybe we'll go there for breakfast and get a, a breakfast burrito. I don't know if those. I'm assuming the shells were homemade, the tortilla shells. They, they gotta were, be. They were so good. They really were. Oh. Okay, so we are headed to the um, Prada store out in the middle of nowhere for a photo op. Try to take some some cool pictures so if we don't blow away in this uh crazy wind yeah hey, i wonder if that's uh matthew mcconaughey's uh hair stream <laughs> We are at the top of the Presidio County Courthouse. I think that's how you say it. It's in Marfa. 
you can see everything from up here. A lot of stairs to get up here, but it is so cool. Marfa, Texas, RV Park. Look at this cool wood stove behind me. How awesome is that thing? So anyways, this is where you um, come and you know do your laundry and stuff like that. Pretty neat little place. They have uh, books and movies you can check out. Um, a place to sit and eat, you know, if you're tent camping, washer, dryer, fridge, place to wash your dishes, uh, stove. So <clears throat> it, this is your typical RV park in the middle of the desert really cool about a quarter mile away from like the nearest restaurant um really like basically right in marfa anyway 27 dollars a night for full hookups not too bad uh, finished at uh, marfa burritos <laughs> Just finished at Marfa Burrito for was, the second time. What was the other place? I don't, I don't know. Ben stuck with his uh, carne burrito, except this time he added beans and cheese. See. Si. And you like that better than just the plain one, or? It just enhances the flavor of, you know, what is already a fantastic burrito. We tried the green chili sauce this time. Poof, man, that is some spicy stuff. You just need a little. Um, I got what they call a plate, which comes with the carne, which is the pork. Wait, asada. Asado. 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 Carne is the beef. Asado is the pork. We learned something. Um, anyway, I got the plate. It came with uh, fried potatoes, eggs and chorizo, um, like a salsa type thing, onions, tomatoes, jalapenos. Um, Homemade tortilla you said tortilla sale yeah the refried beans it was it was really great it was really delicious yeah i'm glad we went back the second time sure. yeah and it, it really is um the reviews say it's like going to your abuela, abuela's abuela am i saying that right grandma's house your, your hispanic grandmother's house and and having dinner and that's exactly what it's like yeah um the it's i mean there's tables set up and it, you're going to somebody's house and they're cooking for you is, is what's happening and um it's pretty amazing and uh it's kind of like a little a little get together like a little party in there um they're only open from 7 a.m to 2 p.m but it's really cool and it stays busy yeah and it's so cheap so cheap but it's good really good uh anyways we're going to uh just do a quick little time lapse through the the town of marfa so you can see that um lots to do here it's very windy during between february and may um, but really cool little town. Um, we think that it's more kind of catering uh, as like an up-and-coming celebrity town. Maybe the population is only about 2,000 right now, but uh, the property prices are super, super expensive. And um, everywhere you go, there's kind of hints of where celebrities have been. And this is a town that's out in the middle of nowhere. Um, Literally. Yeah, the nearest... <laughs> airport is El Paso and that's three hours away so but anyway um, you know we've seen lots of pictures of Beyonce and Matthew McConaughey and Anthony Bourdain Kevin Bacon I mean the list goes on so this is a, a pretty cool little up-and-coming place um, and it's also it's very quirky because on the same road you can see houses that are made out of shipping containers and then like super contemporary huge fancy houses and then a mobile home and um, you know just a regular house a nice house an older house a rundown house and it's just like they kind of all live in peace and harmony um, kind of really how all towns should be I guess so 
anyways we're gonna do a quick little time lapse show you through the town uh, it doesn't look like a whole lot's going on but it's a very minimalist type place so um, a lot of the restaurants and shops they they're not like necessarily big fancy signs um, you just kind of have to know where you're going so pretty neat place pretty neat place babe absa freaking lutely okay we're good all right i think we're blocked from the wind we're in a little cranny by our trailer <laughs> Anyways, Anywho. we are leaving Marfa today. Marfa, Marfa, Marfa. And as you can see, we're both wearing short sleeves. Um, and Hooray. It, and it's uh, about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, more like a quarter to 12. Oh, just kidding. Yeah. Um, but it was 21 last night. And it's probably, I don't know, at least 65. Uh, yeah, about 60, 65 right now. Yeah. So the weather here changes like nobody's business it's crazy it's not nearly as windy today yeah uh, but anyways um, water hose we, we turned off the water last night because you know we didn't want a frozen water hose mm -hmm. well the water froze at the source so um, we didn't get on the road quite as early as we wanted to because we had to wait for the water to thaw out so we could fill up a fresh water tank and not have to try to find a place to do it yeah and our water hose actually uh, even though we turned the water off it's still the water hose froze yeah i mean there is no water in the hose it froze to the spigot spigot yeah <laughs> anyway anywho so we are going to make our way over to carlsbad caverns not sure how far we'll make it today i guess it just really depends on the wind weather and, and the wind yeah but it's uh, only supposed to get down to 34 tonight around <laughs> that area so shouldn't have to worry about freezing stuff shouldn't shouldn't but the wind Gotta take that in factor too, so. Well, the weather says that the wind's only supposed to be eight miles an hour at Carlsbad. Oh, man, that's beautiful. But I am a little bit sad to leave Marfa. This is a really cool place. I don't think I, I will ever be cool enough to live here, but. I don't think I would either. It's very eclectic and artsy, and, um, you know, as much as I would love to get art, I, I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I see something and I say, oh, that's really cool. Like, the Prada or, uh, but, like, the Circle of Rocks yesterday, I didn't really get it. I didn't get it. But it no. does light up on full moons, so. Uh, well, you did get some uh, homemade soap. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That soap smells so good for Murphy soap. Yeah. It's um, lemon tea tree. Oh, oh, my gosh. It smells so good. It has smelled up the entire bathroom. Like In a, a good way. A sugary lemon candy. It just smells delicious. I want to eat it. No surprise. No surprise there. Yeah, so um, really that's it about Marfa. This uh, place that we're staying, Tumble Inn, mm -hmm. it's a great place to stay. Uh, 27 bucks a night, full hookups, uh, very pleasant host. Um, and the stars at night are amazing. Oh my gosh. So if you're out West Texas, definitely try to get a stay here. Yeah. Um, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, stargaze. We uh, thought about going to the McDonald Observatory in Fort Davis, but we just didn't get around to it. And the nights have just been so cold. Um, and it's about 45 minutes from where we're at now. So maybe when we get back down here uh, and it's a little bit warmer, maybe we'll try Fort Davis again. So there you go. All right. We got to go check on the freshwater tank and get hooked up and get on the road again. On the road again. <laughs> McDonald Express out. Peace.